Good morning, this is Mr. Parks from Risen Christ Lutheran School, and I have another video for fourth grade for module four, lesson five. This is our final lesson of the module, and we are working with mental math strategies uh, for multiplication and division. So the idea that we're working on is gonna kind of be the culmination of what we've worked on. So we've been spending a lot of time working with basic math facts, trying to figure out how we can use those to make our lives easier when we are finding estimates or to find exact answers. So in this lesson, we are going to be doing the same thing, but the goal is to try to do as much of this as we can without having to write anything down. So for instance, we are going to, for number one, um, underline our parts that we're working with. Uh, we need uh, seven rows with 50 stitches in each row, and then we want to find the answer. So we're using the commutative property. We can switch the order of our numbers around. That's going to help us. Uh, even though we're working with a larger number with 50, uh, we should still be able to find the answer really easily. So four times five is our basic math fact. That gives us 20, which means four times five, uh, 50 is going to give us 20. And I usually do the basic math fact and then we write one extra zero because we have one here. Um, now we are going to take that and we are going to get 200 times seven. And we are going to use a basic math fact for seven times two, that would give us 14. And then we are going to add two extra zeros because we have two extra zeros here um, because we're multiplying by 200. So that's normally the way that I explain it. Uh, hopefully that helps for parents understanding uh, the way that I am explaining this during class. Now when we're dividing, we can actually use place value to help us. So our three in the hundreds place is worth 300. So that would give us one of our two numbers. And then the remainder of this for the tens and the ones place would also give us a number that's easy to count by five to get to. And so we can divide both of those separately we can use our basic math fact for 30 divided by five to get six. Now, one important thing I talk about extra zeros, we are actually doing 30 divided by five. So there's only one extra zero available to us and we're gonna get 60 for the answer. And then 25 divided by five is five, no extra zeros. Add these two together to get 65. Also, I am uh, zoomed in a little bit further um, because of the number of pages that I have to work with for this. So uh, if the marker looks a little different, that's why. Um, again, we're going to do the same kind of idea for this one. So we're doing 800 divided by 4. Uh, what number when multiplied by uh, equals 800? Um, oh, we want 4. So we want to figure out what number multiplied by 4 equals 800. So our basic math fact, four times two equals eight. Uh, so we would use the number 200 to get uh, to 800. And then we can take this one and we are going to do something very similar. So we are going to break this apart. And since we're multiplying, we're just gonna use place values. So we can do five times two for the right hand side and we can do five times 70 uh, for the left-hand side of this to get 72. And then rewrite these, five times 70 gives us 350. Again, our basic math fact for five times seven gives us 35, and then we have one extra zero. No extra zero here, uh, but our product is 10. Then we add those together to get 360. Um, so those are the basic ideas that we're working with. I'm not going to worry about the ones down here at the bottom, but just to give you an idea, we could go ahead and start um, either probably the three times eight for the basic math fact would be easier. And then we can multiply by two by doubling our answer for this. We would use place value again to help us. So we could do uh, 450 uh, for our two um, smaller math facts, and then we can work those together in our head. Um, it does look like I put the pages backwards, so I apologize for that. Um, this is the video I am trying to see if we can add in homework problems to give you an idea of what we should be doing. Uh, if this is helping, uh, even though it makes the video longer, please let me know. Um, 
give me a thumbs up uh, or a like on the video or uh, parents if you want to send me feedback uh, for this part if it's helpful uh, for your student uh, to see this part. So again, we should be underlining our important details. So we are working with four different types of uh, plants that we're planting. We're doing six rows of each type of seed and we plant 20 seeds in each row. That should give us all of our information that we need. We do have this part here uh, to also help us. If we didn't have that, um, then we would need to deduce that is the problem that we're working with based on the information that they gave us. Um, again, it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of just giving us problems uh, to help us. So if we're doing a word problem, you still need to underline the information that we need. Um, and so it says, tell which strategy you use. So uh, we are going to find the exact answer and you're also going to say what you did. So uh, for this one, we might break this one up and use place value to help us. So we could do 20 times five and then add the answer to five times four to that. Um, similar idea for this. Um, although that one, we don't have to break it up. This one, number five, we would have to break it up using place value. So we might do uh, 36 divided by nine uh, to find the number for the tens place, and then nine divided by nine to find the number for the ones place, for instance. On the other page, again, I don't want students spending more than two minutes working on these problems. If your student is spending forever laboring on this, trying to get them right, set a timer, um, just go ahead and have them work through it. Um, and there's nothing too tricky down at the bottom. Again, the spiral review is going to be working on things we worked on earlier in this uh, module. So 15 divided by five or 2000 divided by four, for instance, uh, might be the problems that we would work with uh, to find the answers there. And then they need to, uh, be sure to write their unit. So hopefully the video has helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. It looks like we came in just a couple minutes uh, faster, or sorry, <laughs> not faster. We came in a couple minutes faster than I was expecting. Uh, the third grade one, it doubled the length of the video. It looks like we're only about two minutes uh, longer than what my normal video for fourth grade is. So good. If it helps, um, please let me know. Give me a like on the video or uh, send me feedback, parents. Uh, that that helped your student be able to do that uh, the homework a little bit more easily um, just having the extra reminders uh, for a few of the problems um, if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me otherwise hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video